Okay, so everyone knows about the Egyptian God cards, right? Everyone knows about the Lord cards from the GX anime that are based off the Egyptian God cards from the original anime. Everyone knows about the Wicked cards that are based off the Egyptian God cards, right? Everyone knows about these. Oh, I locked, I knocked, I knocked my, my, I guess it's not time to duel. But everybody knows about these Battle Pack 2 War of the Giants mats with the Egyptian God cards on them, okay? Man, my poor clock. I'm trying to prove a point here. I'm just trying to prove a point here, okay? Everyone knows about those mats. Everyone knows about the Egyptian God cards, right? Wouldn't it be cool to have, you know, or to be able to collect cloth mats based on the Egyptian God cards? I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be really cool. I wish a mat company started doing that. In particular, one that sponsors me. Because I think that'd be really kick-ass. Alright you guys, my sponsor Metamats.com is releasing all three of these amazing Egyptian God mats on July 17th and I was lucky enough to be able to open them early so the rest of this video is going to be my opening and reaction to these mats and review of these mats and they've got everything I'm telling you just stay tuned they even have the text to summon the winged dragon of Ra these mats are just amazing guys check them out so you guys, at the time of this recording, I have not seen this mat. All Dave said to me, Dave being the owner of MetaMats, all he said to me was, this is a new mat that we're releasing, and he's glad that I got it. I, I said thanks. So I have no idea what this looks like. That's literally all he sent me. Uh, but uh, regardless of, of whether or not this mat is out yet, whenever you guys see this video, no matter what, you will always be able to enter in the code Yugi Jesus on MetaMats.com for 10% off of any mat. So whether you know whether you want this mat or any other mat from MetaMats.com, that code will get you 10% off. Now, no more nonsense. Let's just open this. Let's let's just do what you're all here to see. If I can get it open, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Are there more? Oh, there's more than one. So maybe he sent me one map that hasn't been released and then some bonuses because he does send me several of these at a time. Two player just released on June 9th, 2020. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's open up the oldest one first and then all these other ones are July 17th, show a July 17th release date. So let's go ahead and open this up once again. The new packaging is just on point. I showed it in the last Metamats video that I did. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, wow. This mat I've actually seen before because Ryan, who runs my um, Discord server, also known as Unrated Sevenfold, he, he showed me this mat right when it came out. Um, he said he was really interested in it and stuff. This does have the newer backing. So yeah, these just go in with this backing, which is the same backing that I got on that brown mat that I showed you guys a little while ago. Um, I'll have that video, you know, I'll have the uh, card for it up right now if you guys want to check that out. I kind of, you know, show the different backings on different uh, meta mats and stuff like that. But it looks like the, uh, these go in with this new backing um, completely across the board, which I really love. This backing I like better than the old backing. The old backing wasn't bad, but this backing I like a lot better. I don't know if Ryan ever ended up buying this mat. Next up, we have the two-player Crimson Sky Cloth play mat. Now, these are going to be all new mats, guys. These are going to be beautiful. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I have not seen that one. <laughs> I have not seen that one. Yeah, the first one, I'm sorry. Like, I wasn't that surprised to see it because I had seen it before. Because, it, you know, it's been out for a minute, but like this right here. Yeah, I have not seen that. That is beautiful. Whoa. I wonder if this is the one he was talking about. He was working with um, a certain artist on. Because, yeah, this is very, very, very incredible. I like this a lot. The reds. Also, the same backing as the last mat that I've shown you. Uh, looks like he's going with these across the board. I love this. Um, I love how he just puts the MM on the zones, you know, on the extra monster zones. It's perfect. Not in every corner, just in the zones. I like how the pendulum zones are there, you know, the marked pendulum. I like I just like how it's all red bordered for Slifer. That that tells me. You know what that tells me, guys? The next two mats are yellow and blue. I know what these next mats are gonna be. Gold Blaze. This is going to be the Winged Dragon of Raw. I didn't even put it together. I didn't even put it together that this was going to be like the Egyptian God cards. Bro, you've outdone yourself. You have outdone yourself. Dave. Dave. Dang. Okay. That's pretty tight. 
Once again, same design, just yellow, just raw yellow, you know, uh, from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. If you're a raw yellow fan from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, this is the perfect mat for you. Uh, this is the perfect collection for you, if, you know, mat collection for you if you're a GX fan. Because raw yellow, sliper red, obelisk blue, right? Like, oh, this is way cool. Um, I, uh, I wish this was more of a full raw in the background. I mean, I like the text in the middle here, the rays of the sun going out because, you know, raw sun god, you know, winged dragon of raw makes sense. But um, I, don't, I don't like how it's just the head of raw. Um, the art could have been a little better in my opinion, I, I do apologize, but overall the map does look great. Um, I will say that I like the Slifer map more already, but uh, this is awesome. This is way awesome. I do once again like how the zones are marked like that, you know, pendulums, the pendulum zones are marked. Um, and it, it's, that's just, it just looks great. I think it's perfect. Um, you know, it's not uh, overbearing, not too much going on on these maps so far, they're just I mean, the zones look great. They're lit up. I like how they're lit up, but not too lit up. Like, they're bolded, but they're not, like, overbearing too much. I can't explain it, but there's definitely a right and a wrong way to make mats. And Dave usually does it the right way, and I'd say so. That looks pretty tight. Um, I like that a lot better than the raw one. Uh, just because, like, even though this is just the head, um, it's like, I mean, he's like, he's here still. <laughs> you know what I mean? His, like, arms are here. He's grabbing the, the pendulum zones. That is freaking tight. Like, I don't know which one I like better now. I, the raw, I mean, the, the Slifer one, I mean, is my favorite so far because, like, you saw more of his body. You know, you see, like, uh, the wings in the background, you know, the, the curl of Slifer himself coming up, you know, because he's, like, this long serpent thing, you know, serpentine thing. But um, this right here uh, with the hands is also really good. Um, it's just a head, you know. I will say that this is better, you know, once again, I like this better than the raw one. I don't like it as much as the Slifer one, but just overall, I think, yeah, you're on point, dude. I, th these are on point. Uh, I th yeah, the Slifer one takes the cake for me. It's not just because I like red, because I like blue too. Matter of fact, my this is called, what was it called, Cobalt Blue? Or something like that, I forgot what the package said. But um, my guitar, my Jackson guitar is Cobalt Blue. I love blue. It's not just because I like red. And Slifer's not even my favorite god card. I think it is Obelisk. I think this mat looks the best. I think this map turned out the best, like the rays in the background, I mean, they're cool and all, but it makes more sense just with the raw, you know what I mean? Um, the obelisk one, I do like how obelisk is like grabbing something, you know, and it's actually kind of akin to like, you know, seeing him in the show or something, or like seeing, you know, um, Exodia the Forbidden One or something like that, which, if I remember, obelisk sealed away Exodia, right? Or something like that from, you know, from the lore of a Yu-Gi-Oh. This map right here, this takes the cake. Man, I'm glad I get to keep these. Like, <laughs> I'm glad I get to keep these. I'm glad I get to choose which ones I give away because, wow, I'm in love. I actually wish I would've opened the Slifer one last now because this one just kinda took the cake for me and like the other two, like they're really, really, really good, but it's just like, I wanna, I just wanna play on this one now. Like this one right here is it. Guys, this is the best Slifer mat I've ever seen. Like, this is like the best Egyptian god mat I've ever seen. This is one of the best meta mats I've ever seen. Dave, once again, you're a master of your craft. Wow. Wow! And since you guys are spoiled and are used to mat giveaways on this channel, I will give away a mat in this video, but I'll tell you what. I don't think it's gonna be either, yeah, any of these three. I think I'm gonna keep all three of these. I really do. I think I'm gonna keep all three of these mats. Uh, this one, the first one I showed, the Katsune mat, this one will be up for a giveaway. And all you have to do to enter and to win this mat, guys, is like and reply to the post about this video on my Twitter. And then I'll pick a random reply as the winner, message you, and uh, yeah, yeah you, and then you get a mat. I'm sorry if you guys think I'm selfish for keeping all these, but I do collect some mats, you know what I mean? I give away a lot of mats, too. It's just some of them I keep to myself. But yeah, I, I mean, I give away a lot of mats, too. Matter of fact, now that the tournament winner has been decided and I've, you know, been I'm about to give out or mail out this uh, Final Fantasy mat, um, yeah, there's gonna be even more, you know, mat giveaways and stuff, so I'm not selfish, it's just I kinda keep the best stuff to myself or my favorite stuff to myself. Is that so much? Is that so bad? No, no, no. At least I don't think so. Be sure to check out these mats, guys, especially if you're a fan of the new Sacred Beast Structured X that just came out, because any one of these mats would be perfect to play that deck on. And once again, Yugi Jesus gets you 10% off, and I'm out. Subscribe! <laughs>